Welcome to Beyond the Runway, episode three. We are here with the CEO, the lovely Miss Nicole Harris. How you doing today? I'm well. Hey. How are you? I'm doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. Uh, I was stressed out a little bit earlier dealing with kids. You know, it's not about me. It's supposed to be about you. I'm already running my mouth. I am from Baltimore, Maryland. I uh, graduated from the University of Maryland, Eastern Shore. Eastern Shore? Was fashion a part of the dream when you first got to college? Like when you first got involved with school, was fashion always a part of it? I feel like, as you said previously, mm -hmm. it's a medium. Fashion is a medium. Mm -hmm. I just love creativity. Okay. I love being able to make something out of nothing. Gotcha. I think that's just in the DNA. <laughs> I, hear you. I hear you loud and clear. You know, yes, so it's not specifically fashion. Mm -hmm. It's anything that I see that's being built from the ground up. My parents are entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. My father is a civil engineer, so he creates uh, roads, churches, you know, mm -hmm. homes. I watch my mother do interior design and do accounting and, mm -hmm. you know, all of that. I was raised with that spirit. Yes. So to say it's exclusively fashion, wouldn't be accurate. I feel like as black people, mm -hmm. um, our spirit is often muted. Yes. And I feel like through art, we're able to re-engage with our spirit. That's our form of expression. Exactly. Yes, okay. And it's a safe space for okay. us. So at what point did fashion enter the picture? So I feel like, again, that's just a reiteration of my uh, genealogy, I guess, mm -hmm. because my aunts, they all would create clothes. Mm -hmm. Like I remember, you know, needing a costume or anything that I needed because as I said, I participated in dance mm -hmm. growing up. So whenever we had costumes that we needed created, gotcha. my aunts can make something out of nothing again. Yeah. So uh, it's just, you know, that spirit, Man. me following that spirit, me following my heart mm -hmm. and what feels good to me. I feel like style is, it's a political statement as well. Okay. So being raised in predominantly white uh, environments, mm -hmm. I use my style to speak exactly, mm -hmm. perpetu perpetuate or mm -hmm. show, you know, my political stance on certain things. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. that's fashion was a statement to you. Fashion is a statement to Got me. you. Um, I wanted you to speak on perseverance and how important it is when it comes to just being an entrepreneur, not fashion, anything, just perseverance and being a human being and able to be successful. Well, I think the pursuit of my degree is very indicative of uh, perseverance. Okay. Because as I said, I went to Fisk University first mm -hmm. um, and then the recession hit, my mother lost her job, Dang. Um, huh? you know, so I decided to go home, regroup, mm -hmm. um, and I'm used to being in very scholastic environments. Like I said, I went to a very prestigious high school, mm -hmm. and so to go home and regroup and re-strategize and then have to start over when I attended the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, God. it took a, the, like it epitomized the spirit of resilience and um, perseverance yeah. because if it wasn't for me having faith in myself that I would complete that task, mm -hmm. I would have given up. Mm -hmm. But I knew how important it was to me mm -hmm. to f finish something that I started. That is the spirit of an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna finish what I start okay. and I'm gonna believe in me even when everyone else doesn't. What does Beyond the Runway mean to you? Well, I think we inadvertently well, I inadvertently already answered that question mm -hmm. um, by virtue of my statement of it being um, political. Mm -hmm. I think that beyond beyond the clothes, beyond the superficial aspect of, oh, this is just a colorful garment, mm -hmm. what do those colors symbolize? Mm -hmm. Who created that garment? Mm -hmm. Is it sustainable? Mm -hmm. Or was it created in a sweatshop mm -hmm. that perpetuates, you know, mm -hmm. anti- uh, sustainable values. Mm. Um, so I think beyond the runway really means, you know, delving into the sustainability aspect of the garments gotcha. about the brand. Gotcha. Um, what does this brand represent? Gotcha. And Merge Co. represents uh, unity. Mm -hmm. it, it's sustainability, mm -hmm. integrity, mm -hmm. and, and diversity. Those are, and these are all, these are all things that 
also Nicole stands on as well. Correct. We're getting ready to get into the Merge Co Fashion Showcase. Yes, so this is Rendall, it's a brand from Lagos, Nigeria. She has a wide variety of sizes. This is for the woman that may be a size two or a size 22, so she's very inclusive. The bag that she is holding is by Marte Ego. She's also from Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, the bag is also a crossbody. The skirt is by Gozel Green. The designers of this skirt are from Lagos, Nigeria. They're twin sisters, actually. The shirt is by Iyami. She's a designer from here in Atlanta. And then the glasses that she was wearing are by If You Dare. So the pants, the corduroy pants are by Uptown Yardy. Uh, the top of obviously is by Uptown Yardy also. Uptown Yardy is a brand from London. Okay. Uh, the designer is actually from Jamaica. Yes. So the hat is by Moyo Museum and it's called the Fuck It Hat. Um, and we have it. <laughs> PH, yes. PH for y'all, we can say that, PH. The bag is by Kiss de Duval, which is a brand. Um, his family is from Bordeaux, France. So the jeans are so fly to me. I love these jeans. They're by LaVille. Um, he's a brand from uh, Brooklyn, New York. Bad Bunny came in and shot with us. He actually purchased these jeans. The top is by Rendall also, as I said. Rendall, fire. Yes. <laughs> Rendall everywhere, okay. She just reimagines that pattern and, you know, creates really nice silhouettes. And then the bag is by Impressive. Okay. Um, she's a, a brand from Ohio. Oh, and the glasses are by Wisdom. Uh -huh. From here in Atlanta. <laughs> so this is Goat by James King. He's from here in Atlanta. He makes very polished uh, pieces. He gives me a Brooks Brothers yes. pseudo um, Ralph Lauren vibe, yes. but then it's still his own uh, take on fashion. He's a family man. He has a kid's wear line. Okay. So if you want something, you know, for those family portraits, mm -hmm. he would be a great, this would be a great brand to go to. So I would love you to talk about the future of Merge Co. Mm -hmm. The introduction of Merge Co. Mag, and what can we expect from you in the near future? Whew, so there's so much. All right. Um, Merge Co. Magazine is everything to me. Okay. It's an expression of the fashion aspect mm -hmm. of Merge. Mm -hmm. I feel like in highlighting small businesses, it's like I see myself mm -hmm. through the small businesses. Mm -hmm. Not even small, but through the businesses. And you know, also being an English major, I graduated with my Bachelor's of Arts in English. Okay. Uh, literature, I love reading, I love writing. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's just full circle. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of brands come here with their items priced at a certain point. Okay. And I let them know, like, you're worth more. Let's increase the prices. Mm -hmm. Like, you're you're worth way more. And I think that that's something that we, that's a complex for us not really understanding how much we're worth. Mm -hmm. I, you know, deal with that sometimes too. I do too, I do too. You know, not knowing how to price things mm -hmm. or, you know, it, so it's, it's something that we all deal with. It's a challenge, but we have to, you know, remember and encounter others who remind us of our worth when it comes to our, our garments and our work mm. you know and the energy that we put into these things mm -hmm. and so there's articles in there you know that are you know indicative of my um, philosophies mm -hmm. um, I interviewed the nappy roots okay. um, on their their new brewery that they opened okay um, in Castleberry Hill okay so I really love like unique finds small businesses so that's what Merge Co magazine ultimately is but it's also going to be an international magazine as I said yeah, so true. ultimately I'm going to tap in with you know brands from Nigeria or restaurants from Nigeria or I want it to just be a go-to resource for people who are interested in enterprise travel fashion everything under the sun Ladies and gentlemen, this is Beyond the Runway, and I am Frank Mill. I'm here with Nicole Harris. Y'all make sure you stop by Phipps Plaza, come through the Nordstrom exit, come right to her store, it's on the second floor, and you will be here during Boutique Fashion Week, September 22nd. It's the first location where we kick off a five-day uh, fashion experience that takes place right here in Atlanta, Georgia. We just finished our last version in Las Vegas, and Nicole was nice enough to allow us to come collaborate here with her as well. Again, I'm signing off. We'll catch you all next time. Peace.